Agile Manifesto, 4 Agile Values Explained Developing a product using the right approach doesn't mean having a successful product. Delivering a successful project by meeting timeline, scope and cost doesn't guarantee a successful product. Product is successful when it adds value to customers and the organization. It was not the case in the software industry previously, especially before agile software development. Software development was being done by following a rigid process with having a comprehensive plan. Importance was given to documentation such as requirement documents like SRS, BRD, FSD, and also to design documents such as HLD and LLD. Similarly, testing, development, and deployment processes were also heavily documented. Developers cared only about following the contract in the form of business sign-off instead of paying attention to a helpful product. In this video, we will discuss the four values of Agile Manifesto that includes individuals and interactions over process and tools, working software over comprehensive documentation, customer collaboration over contract negotiation, responding to change over following plan. If you like the video, we request you to like and subscribe to the Agile Mania YouTube channel to encourage us to provide more valuable information on Agile and Scrum. Agile Mania is a team of passionate professionals with years of experience focused on consulting organizations in transforming businesses with digital and agile. We play a key role in accelerating your digitization journey and help you navigate to a highly functioning agile culture. Without further ado, let's begin with discussing the four phases of the Agile Manifesto. The first phase, that is, individuals and interactions over process and tools. Traditionally, the project team led by the project manager was paying much attention to the process. The majority of them followed the waterfall project management technique based on the article published in 1970 by Winston Royce. The waterfall method itself was a five-step process as described by him. In 1985, the United States Department of Defense captured this approach in their standards for working with software development contractors, which stated that the contractor should implement a software development cycle that includes the following six phases, software requirement analysis, preliminary design, detailed design, coding, and unit testing, integration, and testing. The second phase, that is, working software over comprehensive documentation. A lot of documentation used to be done before, even before starting to build the software. The features, specifications, layout requirements, test cases, design were documented long before their arrival time. Like what you have documented will be outdated by the time you are done with it, you may create many features, which the end user may never use. The time spent on the documentation of such features also goes in vain, too much documentation. It also delays the project, which later becomes an opportunity cost for the business. The third phase that is, customer collaboration over contract negotiation. In the traditional software development method, the customer was involved only at the beginning of the project for contract negotiation. One more time, if there were any changes to be made in the contract. The development process was more focused on what is written in the contract instead of focusing on what the customer wants. This approach neglected the value of customer feedback during the project. When software is developed without constant feedback, the result does not completely satisfy the customer's needs. That is why the Agile Manifesto favors customer collaboration over contract negotiation. Last but not the least, the fourth phase, that is, responding to change over following plan. We're not in favor of the change was very much a usual statement in the traditional project management approach. The waterfall approach was to create detailed plans in the beginning and then following them through the project. Being rigid leads to creating an improper product, but it also makes us miss the chances of bringing changes that could make our product better. That is why the Agile Manifesto favors responding to change over following plans. When software is developed with agility, we start with a plan that gives us enough idea of the direction we want to move. So these were the four values of the Agile Manifesto. Follow them in your project management to ensure its success. Put down your comments if this video was helpful to you.